We're going to start off this next block with Ariel. If you want to go ahead and share your screen. Thanks. Uh... Hello, everyone. Um, you might remember two years ago, the theme was the beach up the towel over here. Um, it took me two years to do this presentation. Um, so we're going to talk about uh, Long Island. It's a Long Island on the um, off the coast of New York. This is a beach from either 1933 or 1961. I'm not sure exactly, but it was inspired by these fun old beaches of the map where they like drew ships and um, whales in the ocean. Um, and a problem that we have, which is um, how to get to the beach, what to do when we're there. Um, what are we talking about when we talk about the beach? Uh, you know, there's the natural geography definition, the place with sand and water or gravel. Um, what do I mean? The place where you swim and there's boardwalks and ice cream and showers and bathrooms and bike racks. Um, so here's one beach on Long Island and it looks great. Um, you can see there's people with colorful umbrellas on the water. Um, and it's, there's a parking lot looks like, you know, you could just go there, but, um, it's, it's tough because a lot of beaches are restricted to the people that live there. Um, this pattern kind of came about as these beaches were constructed through the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And it's kind of remained that way, like for this beach in particular, uh, um, you need a permit that has different rules if you're a co-op owner or if you have a deed with your exact name on it, or if you're in the fire department of certain towns nearby. Um, otherwise, you're out of luck, go somewhere else. Um, so when I first started looking at how to map all these different beaches, I was like, great, there's a tag with beach in the name. That's probably the one I want. Um, but if we look at just this part of the beach, um, it's one long natural equals beach, but it's actually 10 different beaches with all different rules, different access restrictions and fees, and um, some are owned by the state, some the county, some cities. Um, for more of the coastal mapping stuff, there's a great blog overview that covers like where to mark the sand and where to put the coastline, things like that. Um, yeah. So what do we do next? Um, so what about parks? Because a lot of them are parks and those tend to be the public ones. There was no real consistency whether the park included the beach boundary. That also depends on whether the sandy part is part of the park jurisdiction. Um, for this park, it's actually 14 different beaches. Because um, all the little different sections between the jetties have different numbers, which are helpful when you're trying to find someone at the beach you know, meet me in section six or seven. Um, so that's another challenge with making a beach map. Uh, and then after you look at your local area, you're like, well, what do they do in the rest of the world? Um, in Italy, they have all of these leisure equal beach resorts. So you can sell, tell like the whole coast and then they have beaches inland somehow too, I guess lakes or things like that. Um, but these are typically like private areas where you pay in order to get access to a chair. Uh, so then you look for that local tag nearby and we just have a couple of them. And these are set up similarly, uh, private beach clubs, um, which can range in ones that offer day passes, ones that offer season passes, uh, ones that are invite only memberships. Some don't even have websites because you just have to know about how to access them. Um, so they're all, <laughs> they're all vehicles, yes. But you know, what is that? That's kind of need to break that down into smaller things. I typically mark like, uh, 
you know, access as customers, if you can have like a daily rate, otherwise private, if it's season or longer, um, I'm not sure if there's a great breakdown for that. Um, other fun tags that go along with the beach, um, tagging things with the operator so that you can kind of know like what's associated with the beach, uh, like the person that runs the parking lot maybe, or um, swimming areas, because not all of the area is swimmable sometimes. You're sometimes only allowed in a certain section. The you know, lifeguards are really important. Um, all these different amenities that we can then group in. Uh, boardwalks are a specific type of bridge that goes over the sand. So not all the highways are boardwalks, even though that's what I like think of as a boardwalk. Um, there's a joke on the bottom. Uh, you're only supposed to wear white pants from Memorial Day to Labor Day. But a lot of the beaches have like, we're only open during those weeks. And there's that conditional tag the last Monday in May to the first Monday in September. So that's been useful for tagging like um, like fee conditional when uh, some places charge in the summer and they don't charge outside the summer. And what does tagging all those things look like? It looks like this. You can see like a bunch of, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but there's benches and there's a big sand beach polygon and then there's that green park on top of it. Um, so bringing all that together for the map I wanted to make, I am organizing everything in a separate spreadsheet. Um, sometimes I haven't quite like figured out how I want to tag things or um, just like a way to review it and organize it. Um, so these are the beaches organized from the east end to the west end. I'm only about like a third of the way along Long Island. Uh, so you can see this coastline I added at the bottom. I'm keeping track of a coastline line string for each beach. Um, that's like my own data, but I'm like snapping it to the closest polygon beach, natural beach nearby. Um, Cause I haven't found a cons There's not really a consistent way to keep track of all these beaches that I would be okay editing into the map. I'll run low in time. And then this is it all coming together. So this is the web page I'm working on. And it's best viewed on mobile because you can um, swipe along the beaches and jump, uh, travel down the island. Um, so this is the project up until Memorial Day to add all those extra features. So these are bathrooms and showers. There are little dots, but you got to add a legend and all that. And I'll share these links in the chat after. Are there any free beaches left? <laughs> yeah, yes, the New York City beaches are free. Um, the other beaches charge for parking mostly. So if you get there some other way. Any other questions? I'll give you one more one more minute since we started one minute late. <laughs> Feel free to um, ask any other questions in Slack or chat as well. Um, thanks, Ariel.